Newcomers to Sifu may find it a bit of an uphill climb at first. Slowclap's martial arts odyssey is a punishing beast until you've learned its systems and understand the mechanics, and the initial learning curve may be enough to put some people off. But we've played it a lot, and we're here to offer you 7 tips for beginners to help you find your feet in this brutal world. Number 1. Keep your distance. There's an immediate urge in Sifu to wade in and destroy your enemies. The game throws low-level goons at you in quick succession and most will go down like a shot of whiskey, but sooner or later it will start punishing your big brass balls. Enemies will avoid takedowns and become stronger, others will vary their attacks or they'll advance on you in groups. Your best counter to this is to be aware of your surroundings and give yourself space to react. Wait for enemies to come to you, back up, assess the situation and punish accordingly. Number two. Timing is everything. Further to this, Sifu is not a game about laying the smack down contrary to appearances. In fact, it's a game about timing. You can dodge or block or parry every attack thrown at you if you keep cool and watch your opponent. Instead of wading in, practice your timing. Dodge high and low attacks and follow up with deadly counters that put your enemies to bed for good. Number three, arm yourself. Don't be too proud to grab a bat, a piece of 2 by 4 a bottle or a brick. Weapons have a hidden durability meter so you can't abuse them anyway if you do feel a bit precious about that, but you can use them to dish out some extra damage on every enemy. Some skills improve the damage and durability too. Interestingly, you can also carry them into most boss fights allowing some sneaky extra damage if you can land a few hits early on. Some bosses, like the botanist, create weapons for you by smashing up the scenery. Number 4. Explore the area. Although outright rewards are thin on the ground, Sifu does have collectibles in the form of clues for the protagonist's investigation board. Some of these reveal secrets about a given area, including shortcuts. It's worth going so far off the beaten path as the game will allow, which isn't usually very far at all. Looking for locked doors, containers, items of interest or shortcuts that will make repeated runs back to the boss a little easier. Number 5. Unlock skills and abilities. Don't forget to use shrines to improve your survivability. It sounds simple, but it can be easy to miss them as you race through levels, so take your time. There are three types of ability that all use different currency. One demands that you unlock the skill before you reach a certain age, and these include improved health regen from takedowns and better structure. The second tree requires points earned from comboing through enemies that improve your focus abilities. And finally, the third tier uses your XP pool and can do things like improve weapon damage and reduce your death count, which also reduces how many years you age per death. And of course, there's the skill tree itself from which you can unlock new combos and skills and even permanently unlock moves given enough time and effort. Number six, don't always go for the takedown. Now this seems counter to what the game tells you and what you're predisposed to do, but sometimes you'll see an enemy with a smoky corona. This indicates that they are elite. If you try to use a takedown, they will avoid the first one. It refills their health and makes them stronger. In this case, avoid the urge to use a takedown right away and instead beat them to a bloody pulp like a civilized person. One of the most useful moves to deal with them is the sweep kick. You can even unlock a powerful focus sweep which never misses and uses one bar of focus. This one even works on bosses. Also, downing an enemy is the perfect way to get in some free damage by holding circle or B. Number 7. Practice makes perfect. There is a training ground in your dojo that allows you to practice fighting. While the enemy in it is a standard goon with basic attacks, it's still handy to learn the timing for parries, counters, dodges and combos. Sifu rewards patience and understanding, so spending a little bit of time in the training area when you unlock a new skill is absolutely useful. Hi there, thanks for watching this video. I hope any of these tips help you out while you're working your way through Sifu. It can be a tough game. Let us know in the comments if we helped you out at all or if you've got any tips of your own that will help other people. If you found the video useful, consider giving it a like and a subscribe. Maybe tag the bell icon too so you're kept up to date with everything we post going forward. In the meantime, I've been Rick Fraser for God is a Geek and you guys have been lovely. Bye.